In this video, I am going to discuss about stimulus response with reinforcement theories and its classroom implications. In this perspective, we can discuss EK Thorndex trial and error learning, CL Hull systematic mathematical deduction theory, BF Skinner's optimal conditioning theory. EL Thorndex trial and error learning. EL Thorndex was the first American psychologist who introduced the concept of reinforcement for learning to occur. Mere stimulus was not considered enough for response to occur. He concluded a series of experiments on animals for this purpose. By this experiment's conclusion was drawn that responses which are followed by satisfaction or pleasure are automatically reinforced and they are likely to be repeated in future. He conducted the experiment. Thorndike experiment. He put a hungry cat in the puzzle box and a hinge was also arranged at the door that the light pressure on the float slack close to the door, held the door open. A fish was placed near to the door outside the box. Seeing the food outside, the hungry cat wanted to get out of the box. The cat in the box made several random moments of jumping, dashing, running to get out of the box. But no result was seen. At last, the cat succeeded in pulling the hinge. This made the puzzle box open. The cat immediately came out of it and ate the food. Throntek put the cat inside the box immediately for the second try. Again, the food was kept inside the box. It was also seen what cat was not hungry, it didn't make any trial. When the cat was again hungry, it again gave a lot of random trial to open the box. Before succeeding to press the hinge over a series of successive trials, the cat became expert in getting out of the door. By his experiment, Throndek concluded that for learning to occur, two conditions, motivation and reinforcement for action, is must to be satisfied. Thorndike propounded three basic laws and five secondary laws on the basis of his experiments. Three basic laws are law of effect, law of exercise, law of readiness. Five secondary laws are law of multiple response, law of mental set, law of partial activity, analogy and law of associate shifting. Hull's drive direction theory. It's otherwise called as mathematical direction theory. This theory was propounded by Clark C.L. by Heath was there systematically explained in his book Principles of Behavior and Essentials of Behavior. His theory of learning explained from simple trial and error learning of animals to complex social learning in humans. His theory is summarized in the following words. When a response is quickly followed by the stimulus and this connection of SR is closely to timely associated with the dimensions of the needs. There will be an increased tendency of stimulus response to occur in the latter occasions. He believed drive presence in the organism creates tension. In order to reduce the tension, the organism is motivated to do some acts in the course of his action. He comes across certain stimuli and it forces him to make a series of response. Hull's experiment. He took a puzzle box having two compartments. The wall which is divided by the two compartments had a hole at the top. The rat was put in one compartment and the electric current was passed. The electric current worked as a stimuli and the rat started cutting bars and it jumped into the box in all the sides. Since the current was there in the wall also, it made the jumping of the rat difficult but finally the rat was able to jump into the other compartment through the hole. Then electric current was running into the second compartment and the rat got again jumped to the first compartment. After many trials, the rat was able to learn that he should jump to the other compartment whenever he feels current in the compartment. This learning is the result of law of effect. In other experiment, Hull used a bell before giving electric shock. The rat learned to jump to the other compartment on hearing the bell even without feeling the current. This is the result of conditioning. Clark developed a mathematical detective and testable system of stimulus response learning. He differed from the other learning theories, especially in the following concepts of need, drive, reinforcement, stimulus, response, unlearned behavior, and learning and performance. After explaining the important concepts touched by his theory of learning is given below. Connection between stimulus response is not enough for learning. Some kind of reinforcement is must to establish this connection. Once this connection is established, drive is reduced. Hull's post list four laws. Law of habit formation, law of stimulus generalization, law of reactional potential, and law of primary motivation or drive. B. F. Skinner Open Conditioning Theory. 
Skinner, by studying the behavior of organism, he said, the reflex was the basic unit of analyzing the behavior. He conducted several experiments on reflex in rats and Piaget. He believes behavior operates upon the environment to generate its own consequences. He came up with a new procedure of conditioning and named it as operant conditioning in the field of learning. Operant conditioning means changing of behavior by the use of reinforcement which is given after the desired response. Skinner identified three types of response or operant that can follow the behavior. Neutral operant, reinforcer and punishers are the different types of responses. His theory is summarized in the following ways. Human learning and activity to a greater extent is a result of operant conditioning. Skinner conducted the experiment to prove this theory. The box used by Skinner is a dark and soundless. The hungry rat has to pass through the narrow, grilled way in the box to reach the goal. Before starting the experiment, rat was kept hungry for a specific number of days and arrangement was made to keep them active for obtaining the food. There was a liver in the box. The rat went ahead on the definite route, pits its feet on the liver. And there was a sound. Whenever the liver was pressed by the feet of the rat, there was a light and he got some food in the bowl. In this way, the sound caused by pressing the liver and receiving a food worked as a reinforcement. It resulted in an accurate performance and accelerated speed of reaching the goal. In the second experiment, Skinner tried that pigeons should learn to take a complete round rightward and strike their beak at a particular places. As soon as the hungry pigeon imprisoned in the prison pigeon box took a right turn, hit the pig on a particular place. He was served with a grain. The availability of grain after striking beak worked as a reinforcement and the pigeon went on repeating and correcting the performance to get more grain. Skinner by this experiment concluded learning behavior is directed by operant conditioning. He postulates Law of generalization, law of extinction, law of reinforcement, and law of spontaneous recovery. Stimulus response theories with this reinforcement and its educational implications. Law of effect is related to remembering power. Interesting tasks are remembered by the students for a long and others are forget immediately. Learning becomes meaningful for children only when it satisfies the needs of the children. If drive is reduced, children will automatically be motivated to learn. Use of rewards and punishments affects the learning. Secondary reinforcements also serve as a motive. As a reward for the learning behavior, judicious use of price and encouragement in the class promotes better learning. The teachers can promote the good habits and attractive behavior using stimulation efforts. Teachers can improve their teaching method and check its effectiveness. After learning anything, adequate practice or drill should be undertaken to ensure that learning becomes stable and effective. Student may consult the following reference for further studies. Thank you.